we're gonna review the Kenmore Progressive Bagless Upright Vacuum Cleaner and it's model DU2001. So I've already got it kind of put together here. We turned it on for a second and it already suck, started sucking up the hair out of the carpet. So that's fantastic. Um, it came with not very many attachments. So I have, it's not a power attachment, but I have like a crevice tool upholstery attachment, which is just going to be like powered by wind. Then I can flip this thing around and do um, like baseboards. Okay, and it has a little storage for it on the back of the vacuum. This has a 25 foot cord and we have three filters. So we have a filter, hold on, there, okay. Here's one filter, so foam washable. We've got a felt filter here. And then we also have a HEPA filter down here, which is a lot of people really like HEPA filters for allergy, allergens, and especially if you have pets in the house back together and we have also two different height settings for the brush roll so we can go hard floor or carpet floor but we can't go like layer level one two or three to get deeper into the carpet so if you want to get really down to the carpet I actually use the hard level hard floor level like bare floor um, attachment or button and we have a two liter capacity for the canister so and this canister can get like is easily removable we're gonna dump it and it also can be washed out so it's not dirty all the time so I'm just gonna do a pass over this carpet that is already dirty because this house has two cats in it and a chihuahua. So we wanna just pick all of that up first, then we're gonna add our own little elements of surprise. So this one has a bunch of pet hair kind of balls in it, but we don't have very much dirt from the carpet, which I find interesting. We have some dog hair, different types of breeds. We have some coffee grinds. We have some blue dyed sand, so we can see it in the carpet fibers, crunched up popcorn, and then we have some human hair extensions just to test the brush rolls. So we picked up a lot of the pet hair here. We've got the popcorn. We do, we have some dirt in here and some of the coffee grinds. It's just not as high as what I would have expected for the dirt on the carpet. But then let's check the brush roll. <sighs> What's going on, Matt? So we have to remove all of this because, and lots of people don't realize why their vacuum is broken and it just has like tons of hair. And for this being just a first pass of some, it's not just the dog hair or it's just not the human hair stuck in here. It's also some of the dog hair. And it doesn't have an easy pop out for the brush roller. We have to use a screw to get to it. So this is what you have to do. But again, it is something to look for when you're buying a vacuum, a tangle free brush roll because your vacuum doesn't work, your, bra your um, bar power brush doesn't work as good if it's all tangled and full of junk. I'm just gonna test out and see if we get any carpet lines from this vacuum. And this is a little bit of a lower pile carpet, so we'll see what we can get. Here's the carpet lines that it has thrown, not too deep or significant either way, but there's a little bit of them there, but not much, like I would say two out of 10 on the carpet lines, but it's just not a very heavy vacuum. 
So one thing to look for when you're buying a carpet vacuum is I know people want a lightweight vacuum that's easy to maneuver, but also you need a little bit of weight so that it can like get down deep into the carpet and suck up that dirt. I'm testing the upholstery attachment now. So I've spread some pet hair all over this black chair. It's really easy to see and we're gonna see how it picks up. There's no power attachment on this upholstery attachment. So it's interesting to see how it'll work with just the suction power. This is kind of like a velvety Velcro, but it's working pretty good. So I think that worked pretty good and it worked quite quickly. So I got all of the pet hair up. Now I'm gonna test the stair attachment. I planted some extra hair in here. I just wanna see what it gets up. So it did pretty good with this um, like upholstery attachment on the stairs. Uh, it lifted up all of that hair. It got down deep and into the cracks, but yeah, I would prefer a powered one for the stair attachment, like a powered stair attachment. So, cause we're just using upholstery attachment on stairs now. So this vacuum, um, it definitely pulled up like the surface level dirt. I don't think it got deep down. Like it has some dirt here, it has a little bit here, but it's more the dirt that we planted down. We tested other vacuums and they have way more like dusty level dirt in them, kind of, you know, powdery, which I know is deep down in the carpet fibers. Uh, this vacuum, yeah, it just it doesn't, it's really light. It doesn't really feel, I feel like for the price point, it's not necessarily really like worth it to tell you the truth. So let's just empty it out. Like the other vacuums had way more stuff in them. It's definitely a cheaper version of a vacuum, but, and then the tangle free brush got totally wrapped up in everything and it doesn't have many attachments. I honestly, like my opinion, I'm gonna put up the slide with the, or I'm gonna put up a little graphic at the end here with my pros and cons and if I would buy it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not. This isn't the vacuum for me. I would choose a different one at this price point. As always, thanks for watching. And if you're searching for a vacuum, remember that we review tons of them on our channel and you can check all of those other videos out.